Today's financial advice is sponsored by Endeavor Private Wealth. Well, Chris McGee, managing partner at Endeavor Private Wealth, is joining us for our weekly segment on investing. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks. So, in, yeah, in, interest rates are very low, and that's a concern to a lot of people, while others worry rates are nowhere to go but up. So what would you tell them? You're correct, Tiffany. Interest rates are at historical lows. And short-term interest rates are near zero. In a popular benchmark, the 10-year Treasury finished the week at 1.26%. So interest rates may continue to lower, they may rise. We really don't know which direction they're going to go. But instead of worrying about where interest rates are going, I think it's more important to understand the fundamentals that are driving interest rates in the fixed and bond markets. And then you can plan accordingly if you're a saver, an investor, or a borrower. Okay, now that sounds reasonable. So where should people start? I think a good place to start might be to kind of define some of the terms of the fixed income market. For instance, if you're a saver, you might be more interested in money markets and CDs. If you're an investor, then you might be investing in government obligations, which can be anywhere from three months to 30 years. There's municipal bonds, which are tax-exempt income. And then there's corporate bonds, which um, can be either high investment grade in good, well-established companies, or you can be in the junk bond market and taking on more risk and getting more return for that risk. Okay, so there really are a lot of different bonds to consider. There are a lot of different bonds. And then I think next we can look at how inflation plays a role in that. So when it comes to inflation, there's a couple terms. There's your nominal rate of return, which is just a stated return on your investment before inflation. And then there's the real rate of return, which is after inflation is applied to it. Right now, nominal interest rates are extremely low, and inflation is working its way higher as the economy continues to strengthen. So savers are actually losing money right now as inflation is higher than what they can get in return on their investments. Okay, now we're running out of time, but I see interest rates are low right now. So what happens if those interest rates rise? So if interest rates rise, that'll be good for the savers. But um, if you're a bond investor, you need to just be aware of the difference in the inversion between uh, interest rates and the value of your bonds. So as interest rates rise, bond prices go down. As, and then conversely, when interest rates go, to, go down, bond prices rise in turn. And so they work in opposite. All right, Chris, we always appreciate your insight. Now to learn more about Endeavor Private Health Wealth, visit EndeavorPW.com.